Hope you guys are having a good day. I was about to make this training video for my members in the membership area. about one of our software that I use on a daily basis to remove inactive friends, remove non-engaged friends who are not really doing anything on my profile, but they're still there. They are taking up all the space. One, it actually hampers my engagement. And then second, I can only have 5,000 friends on my personal Facebook profile. And I use Facebook for my business. I use this software, Friend Connector, to add people, add new leads into my friend list who I think could be a lead some point of time they might become a customer of mine okay so i use friend connector to add new people to my list and then i provide value i create content i make offers to my audience i let them know what do i sell and how can they buy it and then also i start building relationship with them start making connections with them start sending them messages talk to them and then at some point of time in that pipeline that process they have enough information about me and my products and my offers when they feel they are ready they actually make the transaction and they become a customer so now when i actually follow that process always run into this problem that i can only add 5000 people to my list hit 5000 friends on my profile then i need a way to remove some people from my list who is not really doing anything and they're just there taking up all the space out of those 5000 friends you should at least have people that who is actually paying you money if you don't have that then you you have a fucked up process that you are not really using your or social media to your advantage or you are not really doing anything on your social media and that's why you are not really getting any money out of them okay so now if i have 5000 people and then i know that there are some people who is just there and they have never actually i thought that they are my customer they might be my dream customer but they that did never happen let's say and they never engaged with me they never talked to me they, i never talked to them either for that reason i don't really want to have those people on my list so that they can just keep taking up all the space that I can only add 5,000 people and they're taking that space. Before actually recording this video, I did ask ChatGPT. If you don't know what ChatGPT is, you, it's an AI. Basically, you can just chat with it. It's made by OpenAI. So I asked ChatGPT that why removing inactive friend is important when it comes to organic marketing on Facebook. ChatGPT said, removing inactive friends from a Facebook account can improve organic marketing efforts by increasing the engagement and reach of Post. When a user has a large number of inactive friends, their posts are less likely to be seen by a significant portion of their audience. By removing inactive friends, the user's post will be more likely to be seen by a higher percentage of their active friends, which can lead to increased engagement and reach. Additionally, having a smaller, more engaged audience can also improve the effectiveness of targeted advertising campaigns okay when it comes to organic marketing on facebook and you are basically following the process of organic marketing such as you are creating content you are uh, engaging with your audience you are commenting on other people's posts you are sending messages to your prospects to your list these are some of the process that you are doing in the organic marketing process um, and you are doing it on facebook so what happens is when you post something right this is your post you made some content you went live you shared something so what Facebook does is it just, it starts showing this post to a smaller number of people. So let's say you had 100 friends to start with, okay? You have 100 friends. So Facebook will start showing this particular content of yours to, let's say for 10 or 20 people, like 10 or 20 of your friends, okay? Now if these friends, like one, two, three, four, okay? Now if these friends are not, engaging with your content okay these are like let's say only one person actually liked this content of yours like uh this guy actually said oh yeah this he liked it 
but then rest of your friends like rest of the friends actually didn't do anything they didn't engage they did not comment they didn't do anything and you also never did anything with them so all this count as an engagement on facebook side facebook starts showing your particular post to a smaller number of people and then out of the smaller number of people only one or two people engages with that content facebook does not understand if it's a good content or not so what facebook will do is it will show one or two more friends of these people's friends if those two or three people again doesn't actually interact with your content facebook understand that hey this post is not good so it will stop showing your content to other people okay so out of these 20 friends if let's say eight or ten people actually engaged with that particular content of yours okay now facebook will start showing that particular post to a larger number of people okay because it's getting more engagement it's getting reach it's getting likes it's getting comments so it will start showing it to a larger bucket now so from seven or eight people that they have they engaged on your post now it's gonna show it to a larger bucket of people so now more people are gonna see now you understand how it's actually reaching more and more people now let's say you have all these inactive friends all these non-engages friends and they are not really engaging with your post they are not really interacting they are not really commenting on your post it's telling facebook that hey your content is not good now it might be the best but facebook is not going to understand that even if your content is good facebook is not going to understand if it's good or not if you have a bunch of inactive people on your list and they are not doing anything they are just there so that's one number one reason that you should be always removing the inactive friends and add more people who you think could be a dream customer of yours in the future remove inactive friends and then also add more friends provide value let them know about your offers and then just convert more prospect to customer and then again basically repeat the process so now you can see i have 2.4k friends here okay so what i do is i use this software friend disconnector which is basically which is one of the software that you get when you join my membership if you do join my membership you get more stuff rather than just one software you get so much more trainings i have included daily or weekly money making action plans give you content ideas that you can use to create your content it also gives you access to so many other organic marketing tools that we have built as i said so now you understand like why you should be removing inactive friends on your profile now you can do it by basically go to your friend list and then you have all your friends and then you can remove your friends who you don't want to keep who you don't want to be friends with but problem here is when you are trying to do it manually you don't really have any clue who are the people that you should be removing how would you know i mean just by seeing their profile picture because they never commented it seemed like oh this guy never commented on my particular post or i never interacted with this guy it's not possible right but especially if you have more than 30 or 40 friends on your profile it's not really possible to keep a track on all of them who is actually talking to you supporting you who is engaging with you right it's not possible to keep a track on that removing them manually is not really a good way to go for it so that's why i use a software friend disconnector which basically helps me to remove all these people who are not engaging on my post or who i am not interacting with so it gives me the data who are those people coming under that inactive friend list it also gives me the data and shows me who are the people that they are really engaging i already have synced and analyzed my friend list so it has given me the data who are the people they are engaging and i have messages with and who is it that they are actually supporting my content and obviously i should not be removing them because they are active on my friend list by the way if you guys have any question you guys always can drop it in the comments and i'll be happy to answer it for you so how to use this software i use friend disconnector to remove friends on automation so once you log in you will actually see the screen and you will get these two options of sync and analyze and also you will get dashboard if you are logging it for the first time then then you will not really have a dashboard where you can actually click on it because you haven't uh, synced your friend list it doesn't have any data to show you first thing that i do is basically go to the settings and then change the settings so if i want i can choose here to go back to 15 days or if i want it to show me the data for the last 30 days or 60 days or 90 days or 180 days okay so now if i choose 30 days and then i save it so that's the first step that i'm going to do save the data how long i want this software to keep me the data for i go here and then i basically click on sync and analyze and then it will start syncing my friend list and also syncing the engagement and then give me the data of who are the people that are active and 
inactive on my friend list. Now I have that data that I can leverage. You actually get to resell this same software that I'm using here to your audience. Okay, it seems like my sync and engagement is done. Now once it actually have it's done, so it actually synced my engagement and my friend list. So now I have the data. So now you will see the dashboard here. I was trying to tell you here is sync and analyze is happening. You cannot see any data on the dashboard because it's actually happening on the back end. So let it happen. And once it's done, you can see all the data. Now you have all these data in one place you can just like start saying like okay change this i want to see 30 friends on the same page you can whitelist friends that you don't want to delete okay so when you run the software to delete inactive friends from your profile you can actually choose your friends hey these people i don't want to delete so let's say i want to add all these people and i want to keep them Okay, so let's say I have added all these, I have just selected all these, or I can just select the whole friend list here, 30 friends, I want to add to whitelist. Okay, so I don't want to delete all these people when I'm running this software. So they will not be deleted, they are whitelisted. I can go here and I will see my whitelisted friends here. Now, I can also see the deactivated friends. So deactivated means that they had a Facebook profile, but somehow the Facebook either they don't have that account anymore. So it's actually deactivated by Facebook or they are not, or they have deactivated it and they are not using that Facebook account anymore. So definitely you should be getting rid of all this because it's like what you're gonna do with this profile just there right it's just there for no reason so you should definitely get rid of all these people first let's just like hey i wanna unfriend all these people they are there for no reason and it will happen automatically on autopilot but i don't have to spend my time going to those that particular profile and just delete it and i think i have to wait or i can just like hey stop it now the lost friends is are the friends who has unfriended me after friend disconnector got the data so after friend disconnector got the data means friend disconnector understood that hey these people are, are in your friend list okay? and now after that they have basically unfriended me or i have unfriended them but i didn't use friend disconnector i either i used it basically i did it manually right so those people comes under lost friends and then there is unfriended list which is basically if you are going to unfriend people then they are going to come into that list so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to see okay these are my active friends i have some active friends here and i can see the engagement uh, i had 179 messages with this that guy i had 81 messages with that guy this guy actually had given me six reactions and one commented one time this is literally showing me the last 30 days of the data okay this many messages and this many comments reactions where are they from country tier one or tier two or tier three and are they active or inactive okay so if i go to the next page i will also see some more people who are active on my friend list right so now if i go here and do this inactive i will see more inact i will see some inactive friends as well that i have never ever had a conversation with and they hardly ever interacted with me or they hardly ever you know engaged on my content so now i have the chance that i can either use this as an opportunity to start a conversation with them or i can delete them and make space for new friends and new connections that i know could be beneficial in future for me okay you can basically go to go to each one of them and send them a message and start a conversation and see that if there is anything that you can help with or uh, there is any way that you can use this relationship or use this opportunity to your favor or not and now if that's not something that you want to do and you want to be no i don't want these people anymore in my friend list and these people are just taking up my space and i want to add more people then you have the option basically that you can like hey i just want to unfriend all these people now i just basically select these people and i do unfriend and it's gonna do it for me now i now i can do uh, other shit that i i i have in my business i want to spend my time basically playing with my dog or doing other important things that i love to do the next time when i putting out content, Facebook has to start showing my content to that active list. And then if those active friends are engaging, then it starts showing to more, it starts reaching out to more people on my friend list. So this process works when you, first of all, you have friends and then you are putting out content and then 
you are using friend disconnector to give you the data that hey who are the people are engaging who are the people are not engaging you can actually automate all this process by using a software or you can do it manually and spend your time doing all that so that's how friend disconnector work i hope that uh, you understood how to use the software to remove all your inactive friends and why it is actually important not just removing inactive friends to make up space for your uh, yourself your for new friends or for new connections but it's also important if you are trying to increase your reach and increase your engagement on facebook using organic marketing that's all i had for today if you want to know more about the software that i have used and if you want to know more about the membership that i have just message me on facebook and then i'll uh, give you more information about that that's all i had for today i'll see you guys later and if you guys have any questions just drop it in the comments i will be happy to answer it for you so we'll see you later bye bye